Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the life cycle of a lion. You have probably heard that lions are called the kings of the jungle, but newsflash, they don't live in the jungle. They do look like a king and every animal around respects them. Though they live in places like savannas or a mix of grass and scattered trees where lots of prey live around. But what is really like to be a lion? Let's dive in and find out. Their life cycle starts with the birth of a cub. Lions live in a group called a pride, where there is at least one male lion as the head of the family and there are lots of female lions. Usually the females are in charge of hunting food and the male is in charge of protecting their borders because lions are territorial. That means they own part of a land. When it's mating season, male lions can mate with several lionesses. Fun fact learners, did you know that lions mate in just seconds? Like a bunny, they do it very quickly and they do it many times. In fact, they mate every 20 to 30 minutes with up to 50 copulations per 24 hours. Pregnant lionesses hide during pregnancy far from the pride. After 110 days, they give birth to a litter of one to six cubs. The newborn cubs are hidden from the pride until they are old enough. The newborn cubs are blind and helpless without their mother. But to feed the cubs, moms hunt alone and leave their cubs. It's very dangerous since there are also many predators that can eat them. So in order to avoid predators, the lioness moves her cubs to a new den site several times a month carrying them one by one. They just bite the neck of the cubs to carry them. Second stage is the introduction to the pride. When the cubs are six to eight weeks old, mother lionesses introduces the cubs to their pride. It's like the first time going to school. They're shy or afraid to meet other members of the pride. Most cubs of other lionesses are born close to each other so it's easier to bond with other cubs. These cubs slowly bond with other lions and begin to play among themselves. At this age, the cubs suckle milk from any lioness that can provide. This makes all cubs equal in size. Third stage is the learning phase. Those cubs now become the juveniles of the pride. They stop suckling mother's milk at 2 to 3 months old. They now slowly join eating milk like the adults in the pride. They can now run fast and follow the lionesses in hunting. Well, they don't really join the hunt. They just observe and practice what hunters do like pouncing. Fan fact learners, did you know that male lions are the absolute king of their pride? In fact, when lionesses are done hunting, the male lion gets to eat first and no one can object. And he eats selfishly. Now when they become 6 months old, they can now apply the hunting tactics and they are very used to the loss of pride. Usually the 6 month old lionesses join the groups of hunters in actual hunting. They mostly hunt zebras and wild beasts since there are so many of them. By the time the juvenile lions become 15 to 18 months old, their mother might be pregnant again. That means it's time to find a job or move out. A job means joining the hunters, but juvenile males now pose a threat to the leader male lion so they are usually banished from the pride lands to wander on their own. Other females may also wander off to find new mates, otherwise they're just gonna mate with their dad. But that's perfectly normal in lions though, so relax. Fourth stage is forming a new pride. Male lions attain sexual maturity when they are 3 years old. The evicted or banished lions are called nomads, meaning no homes. Most nomadic lions are alone and just wanders everywhere, away from the pride lands. They may find female mates during this time. The matured wanderer lions are now strong enough to challenge a leader of pride, but it requires brute strength and bloody battles to win a pride. That means he can take over the leadership of a pride land. The old lion may get killed or wounded in the battle that banishes him from his own pride land. Lionesses may defend also but their strength is much lower than males so it's kind of useless. 
And now for an additional fact, did you know that when a new lion takes over, the cubs of the previous leader are killed? This is to ensure that only the hair of the new lion grows. Well, another reason why they kill the cubs is because females don't accept mating with new males when their cubs are around. Now females who lose their cubs quickly enter a new heat cycle to breed with the new leader. Sometimes there are brothers who challenge the pride, which makes multiple new leaders of the pride, and this makes the population bigger. Although you might think that there are a lot of lions, only less than 20% of the lion cubs survive until the age of 2, so there might be fewer lions than you know. Usually the youngest generation of female cubs can be forced to live and find their territory when the pride becomes too large. And the last stage is the old age. Lions are found to live up to 25 years in captivity. That means when lions live in zoos or cages, they are taken care of by people. But when they live in their natural habitats, they can only live till the age of 8 to 15. Most lions die of injuries due to fighting each other or fighting other animals. No one challenges them in the pride not even other animals but they have a rival in hunting usually it is the hyenas that group together and sometimes snatch what the lions hunt they can pose a threat since they ride in large groups lions are known for their brute strength and powerful bites sometimes they even take down a mature giraffe even though they're scary lions don't usually harm humans and they hunt at least 25 times a year, so they don't actually reduce the population of the prey. In a way, they serve as a control to the environment. So learners, now we know what it is like to be a lion. It can be fierce and dangerous, but that's their life cycle. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. Have a nice day.